Hey guys, this is Nick from Enter Martial Arts. Uh, in this video, we're going to go over sword basic movements and combinations. Uh, this is my sword right here. Uh, when you're selecting a sword, you want to make sure that it balances right at the hilt, just like this. This this sword I've had for like the past 10 years. I've kind of Frankensteined it together from various sword parts and kind of customized it to what I like. So this is the proper way to hold your left hand when doing any straight sword techniques. Now notice how the thumb touches my last two fingers and the hand stays rigid. Think of like a ball of energy flowing through the palm of your hand and shooting out the straight fingers. Now remember, don't get lazy. It's very important not to let your hands go limp or open. Keep your hand rigid as you're doing these techniques. Here are some basic straight sword techniques that you will really want to familiarize yourself with. To perfect these, you will want to repeat these techniques a few thousand times each. Now don't forget, practice makes what? Yep, practice makes permanent. The design of the sword promotes movements that may be the Chinese equivalent of the European rapier. So this means that there are very precise stabs, cuts, and parries. So it's important to know exactly where you're aiming at in all of these techniques. Try to aim at targets that are coin sized. So rather than picking general body parts like the neck or chest, try to aim at the base of the throat or the solar plexus. Lastly, it's important to remember that your cuts need to be perfectly horizontal or vertical. Either have a friend watch you or film yourself while performing these techniques to make sure they are being done properly. Once you know each basic movement, you can begin practicing combinations. Notice my left hand during these combinations. It stays in the sword fingers position I described at the beginning of the video. Also notice how my left arm mirrors my sword arm to balance out those movements. There are very few exceptions to the rule. Now the straight sword was mostly used by royalty and aristocrats, so you can see that the techniques are very poised and I look at the weapon often while I attack to keep the accuracy of each strike high. In contrast, the Chinese broadsword, which is used by foot soldiers, was mostly designed for wild slicing and dicing. Well, thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.